Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the Gossip Closet, where we get to gossip all about fashion, beauty, and everything in between. So, let's get started. All right, you guys, in today's video, in today's video, it is going to be a really exciting and fun one since Valentine's Day is tomorrow i wanted to do a valentine's day slash perfume review for you guys and i have two escada perfumes the two perfumes that come in a heart shape bottle and then i have a banana republic perfume that i have not tried so i'm really super excited so i did go to burlington co factory looking for this specific perfume not the banana republic one but the escada perfume it's called fairy love it's a limited edition bottle and I found it, I got it. So that's gonna be my first impression on that one. And also the Banana Republic perfume, and I can't wait. So one of the perfumes that I have here is the Escada perfume. This one's called Candy Love. And then we have the other one by Escada, and this one's called Fairy Love. I mean, the packaging is just adorable. I really like the packaging, especially for the Fairy Love. This is a very Valentine's Day type of packaging. It has the from and to in the back. I don't know if you can see it perfectly like that, but it's a really cute packaging. I really, really like the packaging for this bottle. I've never smelled this perfume, so this is going to be my first impressions. I do like this one, so hopefully this one is good. And also the other one that I blind bought was this Banana Republic Dark Cherry and Amber Perfume. Now, I am not the biggest fan of Amber Perfumes, so this was a little bit scary to purchase but i am open to try new perfumes and this kind of intrigued me i'm not gonna lie this kind of intrigued me and i like the packaging as well so we're gonna get started with this and see how these perfumes smell all right so the first one that i'm gonna start off with is candy love this is the one that i've tried and i absolutely love this perfume you guys all right so this one is described as a citrusy sweet perfume and this one has top notes of candy apple the middle notes are rose the base notes are whipped cream and vanilla so four simple notes nothing too complicated and nothing crazy i gotta say you guys this is probably one of the best citrusy sweet perfumes that i have ever tried this is a really nice and sweet i'm gonna say romantic perfume I really like this perfume, you guys. It's so pretty. It's definitely very whipped cream and vanilla, but it's also very tropical, very sweet. I do smell the red apple on this, but it's also very whipped. It's also very vanilla. It's nice and creamy. This is not a sweet gourmand type of perfume. It's not something that you would want to eat, something delicious, but it is something nice and sweet like brown sugar with a nice hint of something tropical. And I think the tropical comes from the rose and the apple. It's a playful perfume. I gotta say, this is a nice, playful perfume. It's a very youthful perfume. I wouldn't see someone older than like 60, 65 wearing this type of perfume. This is something very youthful. It's like a very, very youthful perfume, even though that sounds silly to say because I feel like you can wear any perfume you want, whether it smells something that's for an older person or a younger person i personally would wear whatever i like but yeah it just smells like a very youthful perfume something a very young person would wear but i still like this i still love 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 it's just so sweet creamy appley and vanilla i do highly recommend this perfume if you like sweet perfumes tropical perfumes and sweet perfumes now it doesn't really last a long time on my skin i would say i get about two or three hours with four or five sprays which is not bad for something like this but i do wish that this lasted a lot longer but it is an other toilet so that kind of makes sense and i don't know you guys i really really like this and i did buy this at burlington for 25 dollars. and when i went back i didn't see this i did see the limited edition one so yeah if you can get your hands on one of these do it because it's really really good sweet romantic and just playful all right so the next one that we're gonna try out is called fairy love again by escada this is one that i'm super excited for because i've never tried this so this is going to be a blind reaction blind bought reaction so let's hope for the best 
So just like the last one, this was $25 as well, which I think it's a really good price. Oh, you guys, this bottle is so pretty. I like the red color of it. It's just so, so pretty. I am so glad I got both of these. Even if I don't like the scent of this one, I'm just glad that I have the two bottles together. Wow. All right, so this one has top notes of Nashi Pear, Raspberry, and Orange. The middle notes are Jasmine, and the base notes are hazelnut again very simple notes nothing too crazy and nothing too complicated hopefully this is another sweet tropical perfume so we'll find out and see right now all right i'm gonna spray this right here and hopefully hopefully this one's good whoa i think i just got the first <laughs> the first hint all right let's see what this smells like Okay, this is different. This is <laughs> this is a lot different. I was not expecting that. All right. Um. Okay, so this one is so different from the first one. It's okay. I'm not too crazy about this one. This one comes off very powdery, very dusty, like kind of like dirt. Uh, it's very. It is very fruity and tropical, but. It's a bitter perfume. It's a really bitter, bitter, bitter perfume. It smells like lemons and limes. That's all I'm getting, lemon and limes. With like a, like a hint of dust, powder, dirt. I'm guessing the, the bitterness is coming from the Nashi pear or the raspberry because it smells very bitter, very lemony. Okay, as it's drying down on my skin, I can smell the orange a lot. It's very orangey like orange juice if you have ever drank orange juice which i think we all have it's giving me that vibe it's very orange juice like tropicana orange juice with lots of pulp it's very that but i don't know you guys i'm not too crazy about this i, I kind of do like it don't get me wrong i think i would wear this on a summertime on a very hot summer day this is definitely a summertime perfume Wow, but I wish it would have been something different, a little bit more sweeter, a little bit more romantic, a little bit more, I don't know, something. I feel like this is missing something. I don't smell hazelnut, which is weird because that it's like the base note. I don't smell the jasmine on this. It's an okay sense. I'm not too crazy over it, but I don't hate it. I think this is an okay sense. It's very fruity and it's very orangey, very raspberry, but it's also very lemony. It's coming off very tropical and juicy, which is not a bad thing, but I feel like the beginning of it when it started, it was just really bitter, very lemony and and dusty and powdery and I don't know, just like dirt. I think I like the dry down a lot better because it smells more like like orange juice it's not really sweet but it's just more of a juicy tropical scent it's not bad i think maybe if i mix this one with this one it will probably be perfect because this one's a little bit more on the sweet side more creamy more vanilla ish this one is a little bit more on the tropical and fruity side no doubt about that so i think if i mix these probably put this one on first and layer it with this one it'll probably be a good combination i don't know we'll see but yeah, you know what? I'm not that mad about this perfume. And this is, again, an Eau de Toilette. They're both a 3.3 ounce. It's okay. It's not that bad. I probably prefer this one. I do like this one better than this one. But, hey, this one's not that bad either. And, again, this is Fairy Love. All right, so moving on to the next one. So the next one that I have here is Banana Republic. And this one's called Dark Cherry and Amber. I am so so intrigued by this perfume you guys so let's say no more and let's open this up all right so the packaging is really really cute this is the 2.5 fluid ounce it it is an elder perfume and this was 19.99 20 dollars which it's not bad it's not gonna be bad if it's uh if it's a good sense so the way you open it, it's really really cute this reminds me of the kkw packaging when she came out with the diamonds it literally looks just like this all right so let's take the bottle out oh my god love love i am in love with this bottle wow this is beautiful you guys the way this bottle looks is so beautiful kind of reminds me of like the dior perfumes or i forgot what the other brand is i think tom ford i don't know but this bottle is so pretty it's it's 
it's a sexy bottle. All right, so this one has top notes of sour cherry and pink freesia. The middle notes are cherry blossom and praline. Whoa. And the base notes are red amber and cedar. Those are the two notes that kind of scare me because I'm not the biggest fan of amber or cedar perfumes. So this is the part where we cross our fingers and hope for the best. So I'm gonna spray it right here. I don't even wanna get the first hints because I wanna be surprised. <laughs> oh boy, all right, here we go, you guys. Here goes nothing. Whoa, okay. Whoa, <laughs> I am liking this perfume. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, so I'm not totally in love with it. But I really like this. This is something different, something, I don't know, unique? Okay, so I don't smell cherry at all. This perfume is dark cherry and amber. I do not smell no cherry whatsoever on this perfume. The thing that I smell the most is the pink freesia. It smells a lot like pink freesia. I do smell the red amber and the cedar, but it's not that crazy. The most that I smell is the pink freesia, the, the, I mean, the, I do smell the cedar, maybe the cherry blossom and a little bit of, of the praline. I don't know, you guys, it smells nice and sweet. It kind of smells like peeled mangoes with strawberries and something vanilla-ish. That's what I'm getting a lot. This also comes off as a very unisex scent for me. It's not necessarily feminine, but it's not masculine at all. It's I think it's kind of in the middle, leaning a little bit more towards feminine, but I feel like this is this can be definitely a unisex scent. Whoa, I really, you guys, the more I smell it, the more that I'm liking it. I don't know, I'm just getting something very nice and creamy, something uh, sweet, but also tropical. It's not too, too tropical where it kind of lands on a tropical perfume spectrum. It's not a, a, a fruity tropical scent, but I'm getting tropical notes, but I'm also getting more like mango and strawberries than cherry. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Pina Colada. This smells like a pina colada, but not too, too much like a pina colada. This is not like, I don't know, it's not a alcoholic pina colada it's more like a i want to say virgin pina colada it smells very like that i don't know you guys i really like this i'm really really liking this and the more that i smell it the more that it sits on my skin the more that i'm falling in love with this perfume i know i wasn't loving it but i think now i'm starting to like it a lot honestly i think the name doesn't really fit the perfume because it's not dark cherry and it's not really an ambery perfume this is more like a sweet pineapple mango strawberries type of perfume so if you are into those type of scents like sweet and tropical you're definitely going to like this one this is one of those perfumes that is kind of hard to describe it's very creamy it's very sweet soft I feel like this is also a transition type of perfume. It's not necessarily a summer or winter type of perfume. I think this is more of a transition type of perfume and I am absolutely liking this, you guys. I'm so glad I bought this because I was scared. I was honestly scared, but now that I'm smelling it, I am absolutely liking this perfume, you guys. And I'm liking it a little too much because it's just, Whoa, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's nothing too crazy. It's nothing too, like, out of this world. But for $20, you guys, this is uh, a yes for me. And again, if you are into fruity, sweet perfumes, creamy perfumes, like pineapple, strawberries, mangoes, and stuff like that, you're most likely going to like this one because that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting a lot. I don't really smell amber in this. I mean, it does have a hint of amber, but I feel like you, you can smell the amber if you think about amber in this perfume. I don't know. I don't smell cherry at all. Like, literally, there's no cherry in this perfume. I do smell the pink freesia, which is what gives it a fresh, uh, flowery note. But it's not, like, a bad scent at all. I don't know, you guys. I really like this. I really like this. And the packaging is just so beautiful. And this is Banana Republic Dark Cherry and Amber. So I was going to layer the two Scada perfumes on me, but I gotta go with this one. I gotta try it and see how it works. 
because I'm really, really liking this one right now. Wait a minute, you guys. Now that I sprayed it, I can smell the cherry now. Whoa. Okay, so I can smell cherry. Like it smells like a, like a, like a medicine, but the cherry kind in the air. Like I can smell it in the air. It doesn't smell like that on my skin, but I feel like when you spray it in the air, yeah, it smells like cherry medicine. Wow, that is crazy. Yes, if I spray it in the air, I can smell the, the cherry notes, but it smells like cherry medicine, like that red, strong cherry medicine. That's what it smells like in the air. But honestly, you guys, it doesn't smell like that on my skin. That is so weird. I don't know, you guys, if you do end up getting this perfume, just know that, yeah, it might smell like cherry to you on your skin, on your clothes, or in the air, because it smells like cherry in the air, but on my skin, it doesn't smell like that. Wow, that is really, really weird, but I still really like this. But all right, you guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I would like to know your thoughts and your opinions based on these perfumes. Does anybody have this perfume? And if so, do you like it? Or does anybody have these perfumes? And if so, do you like these perfumes? And if not, are you intrigued? Do you want to try any of these perfumes? If so, let me know your thoughts and your opinions in the comments down below. And as always, if you guys like this video and found it very informative, please give this video a huge thumbs up if you are new to my channel. Hi, my name is Edgar O and I'm obsessed with everything in the beauty world, fashion world, and perfume world. So if you're into that, stick around, click that subscribe button and be part of the team. But all right, you guys, as always, thank you for watching. I can't wait till we gossip on our next one. Happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,